Hubble Nation. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Terrence, the man, 6060. Pull it down to Chuck Town, the creek. Yes, I live in the, in the Babylon known as America, the daughter of Babylon. I'm right here, I got a lot to talk to you about. I hope y'all feeling good. Well, should be feeling bad for the ones who are following the tradition of men who've been a part of the worldly aspect of Thanksgiving, known as Thanksgiving, so called meetup holiday that Christopher Columbus made up. And, Come in this country, he didn't discover a goddamn thing, but came here and invaded and with his crew and slaughtered the American, African, and indigenous people and the Native Americans here in this country. Stole this American soil, the, the, and they celebrate the feast at a table, so called Thanksgiving. They're thankful for stolen land and take over this land and killing, murder, slaughter the black indigenous people that was here in this country because we were the first nationality that was here in this country first before. Whites, which is our children, Esau, Edomites, and all these different other races and nationalities came here. I'm not a racial person, I'm just stating what the Bible says. The Most High God says that Jacob I love and Esau people I hate. The scripture. Now, it's a lot going on in this world today. As people continue to celebrate these pagan holidays, people don't want to hear the truth. People don't continue to hear false doctrines. People got itching ears. Like I said, the book of 2 Timothy 3 and 4. People got itchy ears. People want to hear what they want to hear. They don't want to hear the truth. People rather hear lies than the truth because the truth shall set you free. And people don't want to hear the truth. People will continue to live in a miserable, fake, lying world and don't want to face the fact about the truth or don't want to seek knowledge of the Most High God. People don't want to know who God is. People say they love God, but they not. But their actions, their they, 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 they heart, say something else. Now, some people. When, when, they, when they drink liquor or get high, when they're not sober, right? When they consume these things, they really allow their true selves to come out while they really feel how they really are. See, people, people are Halloween every day. People wear Halloween masks every day, hiding their true self, they hide their true identity. You know, but it's a matter of time. Whatever happened to darkness shall come to light. Whatever's in the closet shall be opened. Most high God don't play games. So if you lukewarm Christians, get yourself together. Get back on the holy fire and the holy armor of God. Now I'm not saying I'm perfect. I fall short sometimes. I do my best not to be lukewarm. If I happen to fall short, I repent and ask the Lord for, for forgiveness for my sins and do right and do better in my life. Could we live in a time where we got to the children we gotta stay strong? If we gotta be sober and vigilant. And we got to humble ourselves and continue to seek the Most High God, continue to seek knowledge, and not be part of the tradition of men, not be part of this world. Because right now, we just passed Thanksgiving, so called Thanksgiving, with Thanksgiving. Now we got Christmas, Xmas, which is a horrifying day. It's a third sequel to Thanksgiving and Halloween. Another major, huge pagan holiday, the last holiday of the calendar year of 2023. But we already know the real New Year's, the springtime, spring going out, going to us. Pagan Easter and the real resurrection Christ is Passover, not Easter. So um, we got a lot of lot of people like to do arguments and debates and start confusion, cause confusion. You know, like I said in my last broadcast just moments ago, part one about people getting crazy when it comes to pro wrestling entertainment, known as WWE Entertainment, and people like to be entertained and people like to argue and fuss over sports, knowing that it's all about. Politics and money, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's scripted. They, they book these things for who will win and lose. They book these things in the NFL for who won the championship Super Bowl. They book these things for who they won the NBA championship, National Basketball League. And NBA, it kills me to see guys like LeBron James and, and some of these athletes. They they, 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 they get they surrender themselves for money. They do anything for money, they clout and fame. They'll put on a dress on for money because they want to get popular. They want to get rings. They want to get clout and laugh. And, and it is so sad that people they don't they don't realize the consequences that they'll suffer 
in the spiritual room. We, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. That's the book of Ephesians 6 and 12. We got to understand. If you still think that we wrestle against flesh and blood and human beings, then you're wrong, baby. You can't all think about things physical. We are, we are, the soul powers the body. We are human spirits. We wrestle against spirits. So if you, you consume alcohol, you get high, or you, you're chosen when you, you, you're fornicating, you adult, commit adultery, or hang around with somebody who's a jealous spirit. You hang around somebody who is a, who is a demonic spirit. You hang around somebody who is, <coughs> who is just miserable. Cause remember, misery loves company. It's unequally yoked, as I say in the book of Corinthians. You can't be unequally yoked with, with some folks, man. Light cannot mix with darkness. You are the light unto them. And sometimes evil people would love to be around you, be around you, because they want to. They are energy vampires. They want to absorb your energy. They want to take all the energy away from you and bring negativity in your life. So you got to understand. This time of year, we got to pray, pray, pray fast. Humble ourselves. We got even if we got to take time away from social media, which I got plan on doing. I plan on going straight. Um, starting this week here, starting December first. I'm gonna I'm do a lot of inventory in my life. Starting the day. I'm going to cut some people off, people who, who are not better for me, people who are not um, educating me to do better in the biblical terms, or educating me to do better spiritually with the Most High God, or they're trying to help me to get better, but they want to continue to be with the world, continue with a party, c commit adultery, try to get me back in sin, I, I can't be in that kind of lifestyle, I got to move forward, I got to get right for the calendar year 2024, and most importantly, I got to get right for the Most High God today. Because there is no tomorrow. You know, we, there's so much going on in this world. And, and one day I'm mad about it, very upset about the Snoop Dogg. Snoop Doggy Dogg, known as Snoop Lion, Snoop Dogg, whatever you want to call him. He said that he would stop smoking weed, stop doing drugs. But he did all that just for commercial, for a smokeless fire pit or fire pot, whatever he's trying to sell. And a lot of elderly people. You know, took him serious because they thought he was going to stop smoking weed. They thought he would stop doing this, do that. But he's still doing it. He did all that for commercial clout and fame to sell a product. Snoop Doggy Dog, let me say to you, brother. Um, you might be a hip-hop legend of this world. But you may get your soul right today because the end of the world, no matter how famous or popular you are, there's so many left celebrities right now screaming the agony and pain and, and torture and the burning fire and deaths of hell. And that might be your home, sir. You need to repent and give yourself the day, give your life to Christ today. So, we now ain't supposed to be smoking weed anyway. Weed, yeah, it's used for medical purposes, but we're not supposed to smoke it. Okay? So, try to be drug free, alcohol free. Uh, you can drink, but the Bible said do not get drunk, because the drunk, that's when the sin possessing you. So, if you're alcohol and drug free, you straight edge, that's a blessing. But if you're battling with drug addiction, alcohol addiction, trying to fight that off, repent, and try to get some rehab, get some help or something, because life is too short for stupidity and nonsense. The wages of sin is death. There is no tomorrow. I might be here today, could be going, going by the night, and won't be able to see the morning. So it's time to really get yourself, get your house in order, surrender yourself to Christ today. I'm going to come at you with a scripture right here. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 says that, Therefore, my beloved brethren, talk about us, Jews, his Hebrew Israelites, by ye stand fast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, the Most High Yah. Yahuwah HaMashiach, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in Yahuwah HaMashiach, in the Lord. Let me read that one more time. Therefore, beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Meaning, be consistent. Be consistency with the Most High God. Be consistent. The fasting, be consistent. And meditating the God's word, be consistent, honoring the Sabbath days, be consistent and praying, be consistent to be humble, be consistent to obey the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of the Most High God. 
Your labor is not in vain. The Most High God and the Son, Yahweh, Hamashiach, they know what you're doing. They see what you're doing. They see that you're trying. They see that you're trying to put away the, the um, strange flesh from masturbation and fornication and adultery. They see you trying to put away the pornography. They see you trying to put the bottle away. They see you trying to put the blood down. They see you trying to stay out the club. They see you trying to stay out of the, the, the some of these phony um, Christian churches. They see you trying to give to the poor. They see you helping out the hungry, the homeless. They see you trying to change. That's this description lets you know that your labor is not in vain. The Most High God and the Son is watching you, and it will be profitable. Just hang in there. Don't give up. Hang on in there. The Most High God will take care of His children. He will take care of the ones that continue to honor Him and follow His commandments. Scripture of Proverbs 14 23 says that in all labor there is profit, just like I just said. But the talk of the lips tendeth only in plenary. So your actions of the Most High God, the love, the work that you put in for the Most High God will get honor and will be profitable. You just gotta be patient and hanging in there. The problem with the world today, we are very impatient. We got to work on that. We got to do better than that. We got to do better than that. We got to do better than that. So be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And Luke 17, 6 says, And the Lord said, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, which is a small, ye might say unto the second tree, be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in a sea, and it should be obey you. Verse 7 of Luke 17. But which of you have a servant of plowing and feeding cattle, we say unto him, Bye bye, when he come from the field, go and sit down to the meat. One more verse. Verse 8. And will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup. And gird thyself and serve me till I have eaten and drunk and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. So what he's saying here is, let me take it back from um, verse 6. Have faith as a size of a mustard seed. You can have faith for the size of the small. You can have faith for the size of a mustard seed. And you, you can climb mountains, you can go further. There ain't any man or woman, but if you have faith in the Most High God, have a faith in the size of mustard seed, God will work things out in your favor. He will bless you abundantly. He will shower you, pour you a blessing. If you have faith in the size of mustard seed, if you follow the statute of laws and you continue to do God's labor, it will become profitable. Continue to be humble yourself for the Most High. And all the work of your credibility, it will pay off in due time. I'm going to come at you with one more scripture and I'm going to come to a close. I'm going to come at you with one more scripture and then we come to a close. My Pan African American, Pan Africans and American Africans. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We cannot. Continue to be celebrating the tradition of men, and we cannot be lukewarm. Matthew 16. I'm trying to see what verse I'm reading. So much verse I want to read here. Turn with me to book Matthew 16. It's one of my favorite scriptures. 16 and 24, Matthew 16 24 says, Then Jesus, Yahuwah, unto his disciples said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Like I said, the book of 2 Chronicles 7 14, right? Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So if you're following the Most High God, you need to deny the flesh, inherit the spirit, take up that cross and follow the Most High God, follow Jesus Christ. Follow Yahuwah HaMashiach. Follow him. And not let not let get fall up with the sins of this world. And 25 says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whoever 
will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Now say it. That scripture. Come on now. You got to deny the flesh. If you if you so-called love the most high God, your heart and your action will say so. Your labor will not be in vain. It will be profitable. It will be honorable. But a lot of us are playing. A lot of us are playing, man. We got to do better. And y'all think I'm lying? Y'all think Bible is racism? <laughs> you ain't seen it, not yet. <laughs> Romans 9, 13 says that as, as a written, it's from the Most High. Jacob, I have love. But Esau, the whites of Edomites, I hate. That's scripture. So as long as y'all coming at me think I'm being racist? No. There's a scripture. Paul, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Samson, Solomon, Paul, even Jesus Christ, Yahuwah HaMashiach, all these apostles, all these prophets are black, fine brass. We are creating his image, black people, Hebrew Israelites. We are made his image. So stop celebrating the tradition of men. Collision 2 and 8. Get yourself together. Take out that cross like I say in Matthew 16 24. Get yourself together. And one day in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. We'll, we shall turn from the wicked ways. Deny ourselves. Seek him. And humble ourselves and pray. And I know the most high God will send his son to come back and crank the sky to heal the land. He's coming for judgment now. You see what he's doing in Israel. Hamas. You ain't seen nothing yet. So chosen ones. Hebrew Israelites. The ones who love the most high God. Continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to seek him and do your assignment. And it all will be rewarded and profitable because your labor is not in vain. Continue to pray. Continue to do God's word. Always abound in the word of the Lord. Steadfast, unmovable. Always abound in the work of the Lord. Your work, your labor is not in vain. Continue to trust in him. Take up that cross. Mark, go for the mark, go for the prize, and be the mark of the perfect man and woman. It's time. Hallelujah. Y'all have a y'all have a blessed one. It's day prayer. God is good. <laughs>